Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to animate a jump in Anime Studio Pro. Alright, so um, for this tutorial I'm going to use my own character right here. And as you can see we have put him inside a switch layer and inside of that we have put him in bone layers from side and front. But we're going to use this, uh, the side part of it on the bone layer so um, before we start um, I'm going to this layer and I'm going to draw a uh, a rectangle in just with the color black like this and then I'm going to put it right here under his feet like this so uh, since he's going to jump from here to there I want to have him land uh, at the exact same horizontal line as at the beginning so we don't even uh, you don't need even need to use this for your animation you can make it invisible uh, when you're done or you can remove it but uh, it helps to um, make it more straight so um, let's get started with it so um, this uh, applies for uh, characters with uh, in bone layers uh, and you need to apply bones for this and if you don't know what bones are or if you, or if you don't know how to add them um, I have made a, several tutor tutorials about them in the past so I, I will put links of them uh, in the description uh, below and at the end of this video so but anyway um, <clears throat> let's start so uh, I would say let's uh, make him jump after uh, one second um, right here so what we do we just select all these bones with this selection tool and then we take the manipulate or the transform bone tool and uh, while they are all selected you just click one time and what happens is keyframes are created so when you make keyframes right here um, when you move the bones uh, they will move from this point otherwise um, they will uh, start from this point um, we want it from here of course so now that we've done that let's deselect everything and then we can start with the animation so what I will do I just zoom in like this and I will go to frame 30 and yeah I zoom in and we start with this this bone right here which is attached to his arm and we just bow it like this there we go <clears throat> then we take this bone which is attached to a arm behind his back deselect the onion skins we are going to use the onion skins in a minute but not now um, so uh, then we are going to bow his uh, head like this or maybe not just bow his head but bow his whole body which is attached to this bone right here there we go and then finally um, we have to uh, bow these legs there we go like this so of course if you would play it right now you go to the timeline this is not what we want of course this wouldn't be natural but uh, the, what we are going to do is like I said we are going to use onion skins and you just uh, enable onion skins by clicking right here and what happens is uh, you can see how uh, he uh, how this character uh, was positioned uh, at a certain uh, frame in the timeline so what we do we just deselect it you can see right here this is selected so we see basically how the character was positioned uh, at this keyframe but we don't need it right here we just deselect it and then we select this frame and so <clears throat> so we can see exactly how where his feet were because it's important that the feet remain on the ground for now so what we do we um, take the transform layer tool and by the way before I forget it we go back to the timeline at frame 24 and we just click with the transform layer tool one time because 
Otherwise, the animation will start from frame zero and we want to start it all from here. So I zoom in again and then I go to frame 30 and I just move him right here. And I can see that uh, while this, this foot is uh, good at the same place, this foot has to bow or move a little bit more like this <clears throat> there we go so now if you go to the timeline it won't look perfect it looks pretty good but to make it a little bit better just move it in the middle there we go so it will it won't be perfect but i don't think you will notice it so um, if i zoom out and if i make all the bones and everything invisible and if i deselect onion skins it will look like this like he's preparing to jump which is exactly what we want so now that uh, we have done that um, we are going uh, three frames further one two three at frame 33 so I zoom in again and then we are going to um, move these bones again um so what we do yeah three frames further and then we just take and then with the transform bone tool we just do the same thing again but this time we stretch the arm like this this one goes back <coughs> and these are going back like this same for this one make them straight make them like this and finally the head we have to bow the head like this like he's looking up and finally um we take the transform layer tool and we select onion skins again and this time we deselect this and we select frame 30 so we can see where he uh, had his feet and then we have to put it like this so he's uh, starting this is when he starts to jump basically so if I make everything visible deselect onion skins and if I just move it looks like this now he's making the move to jump so now we have to move him of course to uh, to above to above right here so for that we're going six frames further so one two three four five six <clears throat> and what I like to do uh, is I take the transform points tool and I hold my I click on it and I hold it with my mouse and I hold in shift and then I move my mouse up uh, and that makes the character move up in a straight line and if you do the same thing again hold click with it and hold it with your mouse and holding shift and then move to the right it goes in a straight line like this that way it uh yeah it goes in a straight line and won't get really messy so now we have this we're getting close so um before i start animating further i like to uh um uh, select all the bones and just do the same thing as we did in the beginning with the transform uh, tool and just uh, click one more time so keyframes are created again and it's uh, important that you do that every time because otherwise you're going to get in, tr in, prob in trouble um, the animations have to uh, connect with each other and if you don't do that correctly it, it it gets it gets really messy and you get in really into trouble and it's really frustrating so make sure you do that um so anyway we are going further um so um now i'm going to move three frames further again one two three frame 42 and first we take the transform layer tool again and we just hold and shift hold my mouse again and it just move it like this in a straight line not too much and then move it to the right holding shift holding the mouse this this little 
uh, movement is important otherwise otherwise the, the jump won't look very natural so now we are going to uh, move the bones as well so we are going to bow the arm again like this show this arm again um, we're going to make his head straight and his whole body is going to be straight um, maybe make this bow this a little bit less like this uh, maybe bow his head down below there we go and then finally the legs as well there we go let's see how this looks yeah so um, just to show you how it looks like right now Uh, we're getting uh, close, so we have him from here, from down to below. So finally, we have to get him down here. So for that, we are going to six frames further. So basically, frame 48. And um, <clears throat> what we do, we do the same thing again. Um, but before we do that, by the way, um, let's do the same thing again. Because like I said, we have to do this. Uh, if you do it every time, you're not getting, getting into trouble. Just select all the bones and just click one time. So all the key, free, all the bones will uh, be selected on this frame and the animation will start from there. Um, then we take the transform layer tool and we got the frame 48. And we just... Uh, move it and same thing again hold and shift click hold your mouse like this and then move it to the right so now we have to uh, animate the bones as well and how we do that is um, well we're going to move his body a bit like this his head as well this one is moving behind his body and this is to stretch out again and same thing with the legs so this is the position where he's going to land on the ground and of course this is why we draw this object right here so we can put him exactly how we at this point maybe make the legs a bit like this There we go. There we go. So that way he's making he's making basically landing the proper way. So now the final movement to finish the animation is to go three frames further. Uh, and by the way, like I said, same thing again. Select all the bones on this frame in the timeline and then move three frames further <clears throat> and then we are going to uh, put him in the position as he was in the beginning in the normal standing position just make his leg like legs like this there we go his body basically everything there we go and finally, last, uh, we select onion skins and it's already has selected the frame that we want. So we can put the feet exactly where they're supposed to be because that way it looks like he's landing the proper way. And we can look like this. Maybe just put this um I think it's good, yeah all right, so yeah now so now we have done that. we zoom out and <clears throat> let's make this layer invisible 
then if you would play you see now we have animated a jump in Anime Studio Pro so that's how we do it so yeah uh, I hope you learn a lot about this uh, um, yeah just experiment with it see um, how what you can make of it you don't have to do it exactly like this but I think this will help so yeah um, anyway thanks for watching uh, if you um, I have any more questions leave comments and yeah anyway thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe for more i make new tutorials every week on wednesday i also make my own animations i will upload them whenever they are ready so you can watch those as well thanks for watching guys